because I think I'm just gonna be just fine, Yeti. Alright. So, I'm gonna count you in and then you can get the speedrun started. Three, two, one, go. Alright, everyone, welcome to Pokemon Red. Ed? Ed, I posted all new cat bags and. Mumble. So, uh, your trainer name is going to be Smegmald, S-M-E-G-M-A-L-D. That is what won that incentive. Unfortunately not, Catbag. So the first thing we're going to do in the Pokemon speedrun is we're going to set the tech speed to fast because speedrunning. And then we're going to go out of town. Professor Oak is going to bully us because children are not allowed to step on grass without the accompaniment of a turtle. So then we're going to go grab ourselves a Squirtle. The stats on the Squirtle don't particularly matter. Uh, because that won't be our main battle Pokemon for this run. We'll be using a cute little Rhinoceros for that. The choice, the choice of the three starters, we're using a Squirtle uh, because it learns Surf and Strength, which are both HM moves that we're gonna be needing throughout the run. Also, it's the cutest, and it's not close. So first is probably the hardest fight in the entire speedrun. Uh, we need to fight, beat up a Bulbasaur. Uh, we're gonna push Tackle uh, until it falls over. Oh man, things are getting intense. Now note, yet I am not Yeti hype. I am pro gaming with Ed, and I am. Well, watching on like a four second delay and we have thankfully able to defeat the enemy Bulbasaur at one health. Whew, that was a close one. Luckily we're experts at Pokemon here. I noticed that yeah, he named his rival AA so I'm glad he was, his rival is John Cena. Good. So we're screwed basically. Yet he's bringing his A game here. Uh, there's a bunch of rats and pigeons and stuff that are gonna be harassing us on the way. This is RNG. Uh, so uh, it's a little unfortunate we run into encounters. This Rattata is level three, and we need just a little bit of experience uh, to make something work correctly, so we're just gonna go ahead and kill it dead, and that's going to put us at exactly the experience that we need in order to reach a certain level. Oh yeah, beating Brock. So Brock is gonna be the first gym leader, and he uses ground rock type Pokemon, and those are scurry. 
Pokemon a, a little too hard for our first Pokemon to deal with because it's going to be very low level. But luckily, Squirtle is overpowered. And after defeating that one Rattata, we're going to be able to reach level 7 and learn Water Gun to ruin rock streams. Give me a moment. Oh, there we go. That's right. I have something a little bit better than new cat bags. Oh, there will be new pack bags. But we have something special on the way. We just finished dropping off a parcel for Professor Oak, and that was a shipment of Pokédexes. So, uh, being literally 10 years old, we're perfect for the mission of going off into the world and becoming a Pokémon Master, us and our rival, who I believe is named Blue? speedrun. So we're gonna do a bit of shopping here. We need some Pokeballs because we need to go catch a Pokemon that we will be using for the rest of the game for the winning. Ed. Yes. His rival is actually named AA. That's why his rival is John Cena. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Matt. So this patch of grass uh, gives us a chance to catch... Is this Nidoran grass? I think this is where Nidorans live. This is correct. There's a Nidoran! Yeah, that's a lady Nidoran though. We need a manly man Nidoran in order to beat the game. So Nidoran is just ridiculously overpowered. It learns super effective moves to beat up every single enemy we're going to fight in the rest of the game. Including some moves that literally one hit KO regardless of any stats because Pokemon. Anytime we're running away, uh, it's because it's not a suitable opponent. That is what we need right there. There's a Nidoran. It's level and 2 though. Unfortunately. Need a manly level 4 Nidoran. I think it's the cutoff. That's 3. Oh, oh boy. Good. Level 3 is good enough for Jazz. Yes. I think he's got it. Yep. And we got ourselves a Nidoran. Alright, everyone. Say hello to Desu the Nidoran.
so this is the Viridian Forest, home of Pikachus and a bunch of caterpillars. We have the second hardest fight in the entire game, a Caterpie to defeat. Luckily, because we killed that Rattata, uh, beating up this Caterpie is going to uh, put us to level 7, teach us Water Gun, because if you want to learn how to shoot water from your mouth in a way that'll just kill rocks, uh, just beat up a caterpillar and then it'll happen for you. Also, I said Caterpie. Turns out it's a Weedle, but which they're essentially the same Pokemon. Same stats. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I play Pokemon Wi-Fi battles professionally, and I can attest uh, Caterpie and Weedle are exactly the same Pokemon. So we're gonna be using Tail Whips, uh, to get the Weedle's defenses down. It's level 9, which means it's the scariest thing in the world. Uh, luckily we're Dirty Cheaters and we can just use items. So it can never defeat us. We were poisoned by the Weedle, and we only have uh, just our couple of Pokemon, and being poisoned's bad, because visiting Pokemon centers is slow. Luckily we picked up that antidote, so we're, we're in there. Ed, you said water gun, but it's bubble. What is it are you bubble? Doing now? Yeah. It is bubble, yes. It Once again, out. as a professional Pokemon player, Water Gun and Bubble are exactly the same move. <laughs> what is the difference? Can you tell me? Uh, I believe the difference is 20 base power. And I think Bubble has a chance to do some kind of status effect. Let me look it up on both Dude, Bubbles are yeah. Bubbles and Water is Water. What are you talking? I'm going to avoid that trainer. And meet Brock. Alright, it's time to battle our first gym leader. Is he a champion? Matt, can you tell me? Pardon? Is he a champion? Can you tell me? Oh, is he a champion? Yeah. Yes. The Geo dude. Look at yes. him. Look at that face. That face? Look at that face. That face. Follow me. Oh man, critical hitting is at... Uh, Geodude. Which I think is slower, because we're to hit KO anyway. And we got just like an extra line attack, so rip frames. We're too good at Pokemon. Don't even need to save the frames. So... Geodude is a ground rock type Pokemon. Which means that... Water being super effective is going to uh, quadruple the damage because it's super effective in both types. Onyx is just a rock type, so it's only going to do double damage. Uh, anyone who's played a Pokemon before and wanted to uh, train a weaker Pokemon knows this trick where we send out our weak Pokemon and then switch back to our good Pokemon. Uh, this is going to split the experience of the fallen foe between the two, and that's going to get our Need a round into fighting shape. So good Brock, good Brock. Round of applause, round of cat bags. So now we can uh, say goodbye to Squirtle, because it's done for the run. Unless it's not, I don't remember. But pretty soon, we get to have, we get to see Nidoran doing some cool Nido things. Do, do you get it? I said Nito. Like N I D O, which is like yeah. Nito, N E T O, N E A T O. <laughs> Wait, isn't that a boss in Dark Souls? Is Nito a boss in Dark Souls? I know that Franker Z is a boss in Dark Souls. Very good, Brock, though. 
Alright, so we're just gonna buy ourselves a bunch of potions, because Pokemon Centers are the Pokemon speedrunning equivalent of resetting during an Ocarina of Time any percent run. It's just slow, and you shouldn't do it. Unless absolutely necessary. Plus, we're about to go down route whatever this is, where the important thing is there's a bunch of bug catchers who really want to show us their cool new Pokemon. So, and we have a lot of caterpillars to fight. They're also wearing very comfortable shorts. They're all wearing very fabulous shorts, and because they're too poor to afford Pokeballs, they actually have butterfly nets that they use to catch their Pokemon with. That's right. Are they Pokemon Rangers just with uh, these things? Instead of these circle things? I don't know why I decided to say crit hit there when it was gonna die anyway. Was so, okay. I, did, I didn't catch Desu's stats when it leveled up, but I'm just assuming that we have the God Nidoran, and that all of its stats are maxed out. Pokemon stats ones. are... Uh, a little funky. They get stats from a variety of things, one of which is their IVs, which is a value from 0 to 31 for each stat that's kind of randomly determined. We're in generation 1, so that's just completely not true, but it's something very similar to how it works now. Basically, there's a, a small range in stats that's random for each Pokemon, and uh, based on how this is going, I'm just going to assume that we have the best Nidoran ever and we're on world record pace. Of course. They're comfortable and easy to wear. Uh, a small optimization you'll notice sometimes is... Uh... Fighting trainers is not necessary. Uh, there's no trainers, there's no optional trainers that we need to fight uh, because we can use X items uh, later on in the run to bridge the stat gap between us and whatever Pokemon we have to fight, as well as using X accuracies to make sure our horn drills will always murder Pokemons. Oh, by the way, I know it says Pokemon are fainted, but that's just because this game is for children. We're adults here. We know what happens to those Pokemon. Remember, dogfighting is wrong. And immoral. This is a snake. Uh, it's called Ekans, but I don't know if you know this, but Ekans <laughs> spelled backwards is snake. What's Arbok spelled backwards? Cobra. There you go. In fact. And Pikachu, spelled backwards, is Catbag. talk though all all these this uh caterpillar slaughter is going very well yeah this is this, this is clearly to earn all 30 ones all the time i'd have to look up how uh the random stats work in generation one but So, this is a Kakuna. Uh, a Kakuna you catch in the wild will only know the move Harden, which increases its defects, which means that it takes forever to beat up a Kakuna, but it also can't hurt us. If you train your own Kakuna from a Caterpie, it'll still know all of the moves it knew when it was a Caterpie, which means that these trainers are just lazy, and that's why they're losing all these fights. Remember that hard work and dedication is what makes success. You can't buy success. You have to earn it. 
no matter how stylish your shorts are. Metapod does the same thing as Kukuna, which is Harden. Mm -hmm. That's it. The two identical Pokemon, Weedle and Caterpie, which you can't tell on the normal Game Boy, but Caterpies are green and Weedles are orange. They evolve into also equal cocoons, but a Metapod will evolve into a Beedrill and a... Uh... Oh god, did I ruin that yeah. already? <laughs> A Metapod, Metapod see, I was confused, because they're both the same color in the Pokemans here. A Metapod evolves into a Butterfree, and a Kakuna evolves into a Beedrill. That's right. I have to correct you on that, my apologies. Okay, so a little bit of uh, manipulation is happening here. Uh, right now, you're probably hearing a bee doo bee doo bee doo bee doo bee doo, meaning that we're on low health. Uh, this is a status called Red Bar, uh, which is super fast because it skips the uh, the cry that a, a Pokemon makes. It's Battle Cry when it's sent it to battle. We get to start making moves immediately, and it saves a ton of time. So we're intentionally getting ourselves to low health, so that we can save those frames. Save, save these frames, dude. You'll also notice that Desu is using tackles, because Yeti Hype ran out of PP. So there's a... each move has a limited number of uses. And... I, were, I think the problem is we're so good at Pokemon that, or that he was using uh, horn drills on a Metapod when he should have been tackling. Either or. Uh, we're so good at Pokemon that we've expended our uses of these sweet moves. But that's not going to be a problem coming up. The commentator is pro gaming with Ed. A professional Pokemon player. So we've been wandering around in this grass. We're looking for a Pidgey. Uh, I don't know if you know this about Pigeons. It works in real life as well as in Pokemon. But uh, they can fly and they can take you with them. So excellent Pokeball RNG. We just grabbed ourselves a Pidgey and Later on in the run, we're going to be using that to fly around, make travel super fast. Avoid that spinner over there. Mm -hmm. uh, there are certain trainers that kind of change directions. Those are called spinners. Uh, the pros of pros are able to avoid them. If you make eye contact with another Pokemon trainer, you are honor bound to have an honorable duel to the Poke death in order to prove who is the greatest, because in the end there can only be one. However, if we just don't look at them and just stare at our feet as we walk by, then there's no problem. We can just continue throughout our day and start speedrunning. This is a Zubat. Zubats are annoying, but we can just leave, and then it won't bother us. You guys see a lot of those in here. Oh, we got a spinner. That's unfortunate. Alright, this super nerd right here did in That's fact me. make eye contact with us. So we are in fact honor bound to defeat him. So in Generation 1, Magnemites are el just Electro-type Pokémon. Steel was not yet invented. It was a simpler time. It was a simpler time, yes. Thankfully, 
Uh, Desu is swole as all get out. So, these Magnemites and Voltorbs are no problem for us. Gave that nerd the business. So we just picked up an escape rope. Uh, if you're ever lost in a cave and need to find your way out, uh, just use a rope. I think you just need to throw it and then you're just out of the cave. Works in real life. So I didn't catch whether this is a spinner or not. I'm just going to assume that we have to fight this lady. Probably because she's cute and we're going to get her phone number. And uh, our o official marathon cat bagger, Constance, has a new bag for us. Oh boy. After have defeating enough nerds, Desu has evolved into Ninarino, and is now even more slow than before. Where do I put this cat bag? Here's a good, this is a good place for a cat bag. So look how manly that Nidoran is now. Every single fight in Mount Moon is deliberate. No mistakes are being made. All for EXP. Only the highest quality pokey battling at the High Eye Kawaii Marathon. So we just picked up a Moonstone. Another reason why uh, Nudoran is so powerful is because we can very, very quickly evolve it into a Nido King. It evolves into a Nidorino at a very low level, and then when we use a Moonstone on it, that's how evolution works, and that is why the Galapagos Islands are just full of stones. And if you don't know this about, if you haven't learned this in science class because we live in Texas, the Galapagos Islands is where evolution was invented uh, by Charles Darwin. He just showed up and was like, yep, this is evolution. So this is a Paris. Uh, Paris no, can learn cut. So, uh, let's see if we can go undefeated on Poke Out Ball RNG. Yeah! Wow. Alright, three for three on on first try Pokeballs. Go us. So, uh, that Paris we just picked up, who I believe, according to the Pokedex, is about, like, ten inches across. He's gonna be cutting down trees for us. Because that's what the power of a good Pokemon trader is. So, we have no more fights that we want to do, and plus, if we ran into a Paris, we wanted to do less damage. We want to weaken a Pokemon, but not kill it when we're trying to catch it. Uh, so before our next real fight, we're going to use that Moonstone on our Nidorino. It's going to be a Nido King. It's now time to give use the Moonstone. About to fight this nerd in the what? Team Rocket. Desu is evolving. 
something? So only 30 minutes in, and we have a swole Nido King. The listed height for a Paris is 0.3 meters, and it weighs 5.4 kilograms. Look at him just owning these nerds. Look at this. Incredible. This is not close. So, uh, we're introduced to Team Rocket here, who are the bad guys of Pokemon. They want to steal Pokemon and sell them for money, because they're too lazy and dishonorable to catch Pokemon themselves. Nerd. Isn't there a nerd right here? Yeah. If, I don't know if you've seen another popular, uh, Twitch stream that plays Pokemon, but there are some fossils coming up. Uh, any thoughts on which one we should grab, chat? After we quickly dispatch this super nerd. Chat wants to heal its fossil. Let's uh, we'll let the runner do his thing, see what happens. And luck would have it that <laughs> it is a frame faster to pick up the helix fossil than it is to pick up the dome fossil. So with this new fossil we can now praise Catbag. center for safety and then we're going to head to Nugget Road right. the next uh, gym leader to fight is Misty but she's not in right now she's off on a date to so head into this nerd's backyard to steal some candy from him I think you're wrong. The date thing is in silver and gold. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, for this version, it's just you have to go meet Bill. Yeah. You have oh, to well. save Bill because he's a Pokemon. Ah. But good I think thing John Cena's here. No, Why? you can fight her. Can you? Yeah. Oh wow. Well, we gotta go save Bill anyway, because Bill's a bro and he invented Pokemon. Er, the Pokemon PC. That stores Pokemon via the internet. Bill's so Bill invented PC. the internet. John but here we're Cena fighting does. our rival. Our rival is scary. Uh, we have one Pokemon at level 17. He's gonna have like 90 Pokemon at level 30 or something like that. Those number numbers might be slightly off, but I'm pretty sure it's 90 level 30 Pokemon. Ed, when is uh, Bill's PC back? <laughs> Here's an Abra. I don't see it has an Abra. Yeah, this is an Abra. And it's uh, dead. Abras are really <laughs> strong, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, that's it has. Look at that damage. Do you see the power? Do you see the power of the Nido King? You do not. Okay. Uh, 
li like any, like our hero John Cena, Nido King, flawlessly defeating a four-on-one like it's nothing. <laughs> Got nothing on us. I can't believe we defeated John Cena with basically a sweep. That was incredible. Okay, this is Nugget Bridge. This is a uh, secret ploy by Team Rocket so that they can find the best of the best to recruit as members. And wow, by the best of the best, they mean someone who can beat five kind of five level 14 trainers <laughs> but after defeating these five trainers we'll receive a, a giant nugget of solid gold because that's a reasonable thing to give to a 10 year old but for uh, the next little while it's just gonna be uh, Neo King dumpstering these unsuspecting trainers, because they're not pro gamers like us. They are not. They are neither Hi Eye or Kawaii. Unlike Yeti. Shout out to Yeti Hype, whose microphone tragically took a bullet for him when a group of ninjas tried to assassinate him, trying to stop the marathon, but nothing stopped this marathon. So that Nidoran should be a Nidorino, or Rena. But uh, they I, delayed the evolution. Yeah. You can delay an evolution to get uh, the move the Pokemon will learn by leveling up sooner, but then you have a weak Pokemon who's tiny and little. And I think the lore behind it is that the girl trainers want smaller, cuter Pokemon because Japan is sexist. But... We're here for fast. Level 20 already. We are already level 20, and... I did see those stats flash up for a second. I believe we have 999 every stat. <laughs> I could be mistaken, but I think that's where our stats are right now. Look at this guy, he caught a Zubat. Who catches Zubats? Alright. So smug. So smug as we walk to the bank with his Pokemoney. That's also canon. When you defeat a trainer, you just take their money. We, are, we, we beat up these children and we take their lunch money. Because bullying is fast. Remember, don't bully. Look at that critical hit. Look how fast we are. This Nidoran is so good. It's so well trained. Accurate. The little Nidoran tried to poison Neo King and he just like lol. And only took one damage. One. Jesus Christ. What a machine. Alright, the final trainer on Nugget Bridge is this one Mankey. Uh, fun fact, if you change the word, the letter A in Mankey to an O, it spells monkey. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. What a genius. Level 21 already. Yep, and Desu is now legal to drink. He got 360 I mean... yen. And if you convert that to American dollars, it's about three dollars. All right. So now to celebrate Desu's 21st birthday, we're gonna feed it a, a bunch of candy, which is like alcohol to Pokemon. So and it's gonna get wasted and learn to thrash. And 
we're gonna give it some potions to fix its hangover. And we're ready to rock. Oh, don't worry, Lord, Lord Mouse. We've already gone over the secret uh, identity of Ekans. So here's this nerd with his snake backwards. Uh, asked us to join Team Rocket. Uh, we are unable to do that uh, because we want to win the game. So he then attacks us thinking that he can handle us. So we switch Thresh to our first move, because our Thrash to our first move, because we're going to be thrashing a lot. And then we're going to thrash him. He doesn't know with what he is dealing. Remember to donate. Deadly reminder. Work out, wake up. Hello? We're breathing into the microphone. Look at him, a chop. Look at him flexing. Look at that. He couldn't handle Look it, though. Look at he that. He couldn't handle it. Damage! Look how strong we are. Look at the fucking face. Nope. Nope. Yeti has dropped the Game Boy. Thrash is so fast, as soon as we start it, it just plays the game for us. And uh, I'm a little confused as to why we this Geodude didn't go down. But uh, I'm just gonna put that to cheating. I'm pretty sure. Okay, here's the problem. Geodudes in third generation learn the ability Sturdy, which allows them to live at one health after receiving lethal damage. I'm pretty sure this guy cheated and got his Geodude from the future. Yeah, Geodude's being a pain in the ass. Dead now, though. Remember, cheaters never win. So, small optimization. It's faster to uh, just go ahead and talk to someone instead of letting them like run you down. Which is something you can learn from real life. If, if you want a pokey battle with a pretty girl, just go talk to her. It's so much faster, so much easier, and way more effective than waiting for her to run you down. A donation. Oh. Read it. We have a five dollar donation from Get This <laughs> This is this is for Pro Gaming with Ed. That guy's awesome. The others are awesome too, of course. Thanks, Get This I appreciate it. When it's awesome, beg. So, Jesus. as you can see, yet he's still just tearing through nerds. They cannot handle how powerful Nita King is. This runner is twitch.tv slash Hype. I said the dot TV, but I didn't actually type it. Nice. Man, I'm good. 
So, uh, this little dinosaur in front of us, I believe is actually a Clefairy. It's gonna, it's gonna ask us for some help. Uh, this Clefairy has been experimenting with uh, some teleporting technology, and it wants us to finish the final result. It looks like it was success, and we have turned a Clefairy into a human! Uh, and to thank us, this Clefairy, whose name is Bill, uh, gave us an SS ticket, so we can now go on a cruise! So there you go, just... Just give a stranger a little bit of help, to help an old lady cross the street, help a Pokemon live its dream of becoming a real boy, and you can go on a cruise! Good lessons from Pokemon. Alright, after all that nonsense is over, it's time to battle Misty. Now, this is Misty's best friend. Junior trainer. <laughs> uh, Misty's best friend, junior trainer. <laughs> and, uh, like any good friend, she wants to make sure that o only the, the, the nice boys <laughs> get to go hang out with Misty. And we're gonna crit her Goldeen. And, and then be like, see you later. <laughs> we're gonna crit her Goldeen. And we're ready for Misty. Oh man, that crit. That was that saved like I'm about a minute. That Goldeen fight's normally pretty hard. So here's Misty. Uh as a as the star of the Pokemon series, she uses only stars as Pokemon. Uh so get thrashed. 25 already. Now, this is a little dangerous. Nidoking is a poison ground type Pokemon, so water oh. guns will be super effective. Oh, and that crit. And also, we're thrashing, so this is out of our oh, hands. No. Oh, a... no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. We, we have a backup. We have a backup. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We have a- so that- that, uh, crit was a little- a little unfortunate. A little much. And, uh... Unfortunately, there is no surrender in Pokémon. We have to sacrifice all of our virgins to the, uh, Starmie oh Volcano God. in order to... <laughs> Uh, go back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> that crit was brutal. <laughs> oh man, that crit. So as I said before, uh, Nido King is a ground poison Pokemon, so water attacks will be super effective. And when we're thrashing, we're thrashing. Drop the Game Boy, it's in Aaron Jesus' hands. <laughs> but luckily, we're the protagonist. So... That means uh, we can just redo it. If we ever lose, we just get another try. Oh man. Hope that doesn't happen again this time. So we're just gonna fight Misty again. Just pretend that last fight just happened. <laughs> no, oh god, about... the spoilers from the chat. That's about what? Two minutes lost right there? Yeah, that's, I think that's about uh, four seconds lost, I think. We're still on world <laughs> record pace. Okay. Alright, this is very not crit. Okay. Alright. Bubble Beam Jank Crit, we're looking good. Uh-oh. Oh, oh fuck! no! <laughs> <laughs> this Starmie is brutal. <laughs> Alright, po post cat bags to beat this Starmie. We, we need the cat bag luck. I'd like to point out a critical hit is, I think... I, I, Gen one, generation 1 is based on the speed difference, so if I look it up here, the speed difference between Starmie and Nidoking... Uh... It's a 1 in, a <coughs> one in 420 chance. 1 in 420. Yes. <laughs> so, uh... And I believe the odds of two 1 in 420s is, uh, 1 in 1337?
Oh my god. Don't worry, this is world record pace. Yeah, we're still on world record pace. This is RNG manipulation for the final boss. Alright, everyone post cat bags. Oh, our sub pixels are aligned. Let's see if we're in there. Alright, drop the Game Boy Yeti. <laughs> it's all up to our Jesus now. Oh, please crit him. Oh my god! Oh. So, that crit, by the way, was Helps. huge. Missy's huge. AI has her use an X defend when Starmie is at low health. So we crit it, got to low health, she used the X defend, which didn't matter. We knocked down the next try anyway. And and it didn't even water gun. Didn't have a chance oh, because Thank you, chat, Missy... that was all you. Thanks for that the cat bags. Missy couldn't use a move because she used X defend pretty much. Oh man. So, uh... Search out. Yeah, fuck up that much up. So, we have the same Nido King, but it's not named Desu anymore. I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, money is actually important in the speedrun. So, we had to load the save that we made legitimately. So it's the exact same uh, Nidoran. It's just uh, a small error that you shouldn't worry about that's making it not named Desu. <laughs> but it's the exact same monstrous Nidoran that we had before. So what you saw there is... Uh, there, the, there are some items to pick up here, and he lost count of steps and had to go back and redo the walk in order to, like, pick up the item. These are silly pants. I have word for the runner to not worry about it. But yeah. Like we're we're still doing good. Sparrow is so suave. Look at it. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, that's word from the runner. Three dollars every time he needs to load a quick save. Very generous of you. We are ahead of schedule, right? Yeah, no, we're fine, and this is gonna be world record, so we're right. gonna save like 30 um, minutes. We were like, except we started like exactly when the run hit. Yeah, so that's perfect. So we're gonna yeah. be 30 minutes ahead once this gets world record. Yeah, I hope. 
He's playing and chatting at the same time because video games. He has time during like screen transitions and stuff. It's no big deal. It actually is possible. He maybe he's like typing on his phone. Yeah, he's probably typing on his phone or something. I don't know. Getty, how are you chatting and playing the video game? Don't you need to focus? Oh, this is a cruise. Yep, this is a cruise. Okay, so we got that cruise ticket from that Clefairy, uh, who we turned into a real boy. And we're not actually going to go on a cruise, we're actually just going to go uh, fight our rival and then pat the captain on the back. And then we're good to go. And there we've taught our Paris how to dig, and that's gonna have the same effectiveness as a rope. And it's going to uh, help us leave dungeons faster, or caves. And that's super fast. And then uh, Misty, for beating her fair and square on the first try, has taught us the secret of Bubble Beam, which we've taught to uh, the Nidoran, formerly known as Desu. Time to fight John Cena again. Same Pidgeotto, only one level up, pretty much. Nice. Uh, doing doing some good work there as a trainer. Once we reach Lavender Town, uh, we'll be able to fix the error with this Nido King's name and visit the Name Raider to get a Redesu, our Nido King. Unless someone donates for a different name. Right. Uh, $30 was donated to name this Nido King Desu. So if yeah. $30 is beaten with a new name, uh, we can name this Nido King anything you want. Even if you donated thirty dollars and a cent, if you donated thirty-one dollars or any amount above thirty, change the name. Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> and the captain wasn't feeling good, but we're gonna rub his back, so he's gonna teach us how to cut. I believe that we have all of the Pokemon that we're going to get for the entire run. All the HMs we uh, need, and we can learn with the three spare Pokemon we have. And our Nita King will be more than capable of defeating any Pokemon. So we went up. now we went is up the time for a bit of RNG. Unlike the entire rest of the game, which wasn't random in all skill, because we got everything on the first try. Now it's time for a bit of RNG. Unfortunately, this is not the Pokemon run where we're catching Mew. There is a category of Pokemon where you, where on one save you catch all 151 Pokemon, including the one that you literally cannot get in one save. Because Pokemon has a few broken glitches, but we're running uh, Pokemon Red Glitchless. So, we're gonna click on trash cans. Oh. Dang. So how the oh. trash cans work is... Uh, what? The first switch is random, and then the next switch is going to be adjacent to it. So we just check a trash can, and then check a trash can once we have that switch. Check one adjacent to it, and then the, the gate will open. And there we go! There it is. Uh, first, first try. try. Oh, looks like we have a new bag on the way. Go 
good thing we don't have a uh, electric or non electric Pokemon because uh, we're going to destroy all of these Pokemon. Yeah, see, this is a Pikachu. This is why it's, Pikachu that, sucks. Goes. Get thrashed. Everyone say hello to Nido Bag. Thankfully, uh, Nido King is a ground type. So any electric moves doesn't fucking matter. We're just gonna annihilate this thing. Yeah, ground types are immune to electric. Uh, Nero King's typing is gonna come up uh, again later on in a very hilarious way. But Nero King is just the best. Only the best for you guys at the High High Fly Marathon. Remember, the High Aquai Marathon has a dedicated cat bagger. So if you have any cat bag requests, just send them out in chat. And, and if she uh, likes your idea, it might show up on stream. So walking out of this guy's house is way too slow. So what we're gonna do is have our Paris dig, and it's just gonna take us to the Pokemon Center, cause that's what holes do. And turning in the bike voucher that we got for listening to that old man's story. So remember, talk to your elders, they'll give you a bicycle. Respect your elders, they have a, you have a lot to learn from them. But now we have a bicycle, so now we going fast. Run Man, I just cannot get over how good we are at Pokemon. Look at this damage. So, enemy Pokemon traders will have a, a level threshold for their Pokemon that will be divided out amongst their Pokemon. So if you run into a lady like that who has four Pokemon, they'll all be kind of low level. So except for gym leaders, which are uh, for the mo which a couple of them will have beefy Pokemon like our rival. Uh, anything we run into is either gonna have one Pokemon that's okay, or just a bunch that are garbage. So it's gonna be very little opposition for us for quite a while, because the power of the High Aikawai Marathon and your cat bags is making this run a breeze. Just, just, Jesus Christ, like, not, Look at that not even a goddamn chance. Not even Look at a that chance. Form. Not even a chance, dude. Too good. Alright, we will be going to the electric factory now, I believe is what it's called. Not factory. Uh, this is... This is the cave, that's right. This is the cave. Almost needs a helix fossil there. Almost. So yeah, now, place Pokemon, though. we're gonna uh, teach our Nino King Thunderbolt that learns everything, because Nino King is great. I believe the final moveset for Nino King is going to be Orange Drill Earthquake uh, Thunderbolt Ice Beam, which is just gonna ruin everything. So this cave is dark. And I think you're supposed to use Flash to be able to see. Tesla. 
but uh, that's slow. We know where to go. There's a very creepy story about Cubones. I'm not gonna talk about. Flip poke gets annihilated by electric moves because he's water. Yeah, so, uh, Cubone, by the way, oh, we're gonna uh, talk about. the skull <laughs> uh, that it's wearing on its head, actually it's mother's skull, so it's a, it's a sad story, it's a, uh, and then it be when it becomes an angsty teen, it evolves. Same. I believe the world record for Pokemon, uh, Red, Blue, is the run you're watching right now. Get hyped! Speedrun.com Pokemon Red Blue 80% glitchless is one hour and 49 minutes in game time by Exarian. Oops. So, congratulations, America, on taking that world record. If you want to know what the world record for any speed game is, or want to look at the community, or possibly some guides and speedrun videos, check out speedrun.com. It's a great resource. Also, according to speedrun.com, I'm the world record holder in Fallout 3 any percent. So, clearly, yes. best website. We'll be using Repel here to get these Pokemon away from us because there is a lot of Zubats. Yep. Uh, Repel is an item that makes uh, random Pokemon lower level than your lead Pokemon not bother us for a certain number of steps. Uh, what, because our Needle King is so slow, that's gonna stop all random encounters entirely. So we're gonna have nothing but speed. Jesus Christ, not even a chance. Too good. Too good. That's a very interesting uh, thing on yeah. the It's the sound that Meowth made when we critical hit it into the ground. <laughs> Meowth had, had a very interesting thing on its So, it fun like... fact, Meowth learns to move Payday, which magically spawns money. And then every time it's used, you gain money in-game. So, I think that's where the Pokey economy revolves, and why everything is so expensive. Because of inflation, because people just have Meowths going around, uh, making money. Yeah, uh, Meowths. That's right. Hey, Ed. Yes? Did you notice that Meowth had a thing on its forehead before it went into the ground? No, it was like, what, cat bag ass? <laughs> That's true. Interesting. Oh, here's Name Raider. We can now name our Needle All right, King Desu. Uh, we, uh, did not get any new nations for names, so it looks like Desu is gonna once again be Desu. Alright, our Nido King is redesued. Detsu. Yes, quite. Mm, yeah, that's quite. Yeah, so from now on, uh, because we have repels, and because we're an expert and are never gonna run into a spinner, just assume every move, every uh, fight we have is intentional. And this 
is the point of the game where I get lost because you can go to almost anywhere and I kind of forget what order you're supposed to do things, but luckily Yeti won't forget because he is a professional speed master. Look at that dodge. This trainer's got no chance. They ain't fighting anything. The elixir is an item that will restore. Elixirs and ethers will restore the PP of our moves. Uh, we're gonna one shot the elite four, and <laughs> you using a uh, leaving to go to the Pokemon Center using multiple Pokemon. That's slow. So we need, and there's a few other times where we're gonna be uh, getting fight after fight after fight without going to the Pokemon Center. So, we're gonna need uh, all the ethers and elixirs we can get. Alright, so, Pokemon Red has a, gl the glitchless run, has one exploit that is not a glitch uh, that we can use, so we're gonna need that Poke Doll, which I'm pretty sure is a big plushy Pikachu. I could be mistaken. So we're gonna pick up some drinks and vending machine and give them all to this little girl. And she's gonna teach our Pokemon how to do some cool moves. So once again, charity. charity. Help people out, give a little girl a drink, listen to an old man's story, help an old lady across the street, help a, a Clefairy to become a real boy, <laughs> donate to help, uh, Hi, Ikawise Runners, go to SGDQ. Charity makes everything great, and you will be immediately paid back in cruise tickets and sweet pokey moves and bicycles. Picking up rock slide and ice beam? We got rock slide earlier. I know that. We got rock slide. I think we get ice beam somewhere. Some other TM we need. We got a lot of shopping to do here because this is the mall, the uh, shopping center of the Poke World. with a small little type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I really like the bicycle music. So Very this beautiful. is the secret house where this secret girl lives in her secret home. And she's gonna teach us to fly. So grab your Pidgey. So now uh, we're gonna take a moment to do some menuing. And we're gonna do some things. I assume teach some moves to some Pokemon. We gotta do some menu because uh, bags with pockets have not yet been invented. So, rewarding Rock teaching Rock Slug to Desu. Yeah, bags with pockets have not been invented. So we have to stack all of our items on top of each other within our, the Pringles can that is strapped to our back. <laughs> Alright, that's Horn Drill. Alright, Horn Drill is a move with, I believe, 30% accuracy that uh, will one-hit KO an enemy Pokemon, but with only five uses. So it's why we need those elixirs and PPs. And X accuracies. And, but, 
Luckily, there's an item called X Accuracy, which makes our moves always hit, because Generation 1. So, that is going to be a completely fair way to win many battles in the future. Alright, so this is Lavender Tower. Uh, this is where every single dead Pokemon in the world uh, is. Every single dead Pokemon that has ever died since the history of time is buried in this tower. And we're gonna beat up our rival. So this is where we're gonna see our first use of uh, the completely fair attack. We have a five dollar donation. From <laughs> Every five dollars is a meal for me. You're milking me. Please enter me into the dishonored raffle. Thank you for your five dollars. Thank you, GK. I appreciate it. Thank you. So as you can see, completely fair. So, um, last time we saw this Kadabra, it was an Abra. Just a cute little psychic coyote. And, but if you hand it a spoon, it becomes a Kadabra and becomes super powerful. And if you hand it two spoons, well, you have to give it to a friend first. It'll become an Alakazam, which is, uh, my favorite Pokemon in Generation 1. We just completely wiped John Cena. I'd like to point that out. So there's uh, a bunch of Ghastlies and a few Haunters just kind of floating around. They're just the ghosts of dead Pokemon. Don't worry about it. Chat, what's your favorite Pokemon in Generation 1? So, uh, we're using Rock Slide here, because Ghastly is a ghost, and Thrash is a normal type attack, and ghosts are, I mean, by the way, spooky warning. Uh, Spook warning. Ghosts are immune to fighting and normal type attacks. Man, look at this guy. Look at Yeti. He knows where all the secrets are. Give this guy a medal. He's a Pokey master. Uh, stepping on the, the squares will heal us, which is good. Because that's like one of the fastest heals in the game, if not the fastest. And going fast is fast. I wish that was anywhere else besides here. But it's not. <gasps> a ghost! Spooky ghost. Don't worry, Desu will save us. Yeah, you should change the duration total. Uh, okay. Nice. We're really close to our goal. This is the last day of the marathon. Uh, we have tons of hype runs left for you, though. So uh, let's get that goal met. Uh, we have an incentive where if we reach our goal by the end of the marathon, we'll release to the public all of our custom cat bags. Oh man, what's happening? There wasn't a... <gasps> a a g -g ghost so, this is a ghost. We normally need a self scope to be able to see it and battle it, but we can just use a Poke Doll, which allows us to leave an encounter with a random Pokemon. So, we can just distra distract that Pokemon with a doll and just sequence break and not even care. So, uh, self co skipped. 
have that for fast. I literally forgot two bats were in here. But I realized that it's a rocket. So now... Uh... Af after we skipped... Oh my god, that gold bat. Oh man. A good thing we critted and it's gone now. Holy. Oh. Oh. So, uh, we skipped undercovering, uncovering this, uh, secret, uh, Team Rocket plot to harness the power of spooky scary ghosts. Uh, but, since we're here anyway, we might as well thwart them. I believe they've kidnapped the gym leader? And we need to rescue the gym leader so we can beat them up and take their badges. It's a one-hit KO! It's a one-hit KO! Look how good we are at Pokemon. Oh man. I have not missed a single horn drill. How are you making this game look so easy? How are you so good at Pokemon? Fly away on our Pidgey. Go visit this Pokemon Center. Restore our PP. Possibly set this Pokemon Center as a warp for Dig, if that's a thing. A speed strat is to go to a Pokemon Center and then use Dig later to go back to that Poke Center. It's super fast. I honestly don't know if we're doing that. We did it before. But I, I believe that this is just a boss rush for a little while. Oh! Oh, it was a pokey flute! That's why we, uh, did the lavender tower thing. We got a pokey flute, that's gonna wake up the Snorlax who's sleeping in our way. And then we can battle it, and you can catch it if you want, but instead we're gonna go fast and we're just gonna leave. Yeah! I'm so good at this game. We set a dig point. Bro, look how fast we're going. Look at all these strats. Can't even handle all these strats. This is Cycling Road. It's uh, a massive hill. And we're just gonna roll straight on down. You actually go super slow if you're going any direction but down. Because this is a hill. That's how hills work. But you go super fast going down. Hey, look at that Machoke.
We've defeated Q-Ball. His name is Q-Ball, guys. That guy's name is Q-Ball. Hey, a rare candy. Dude, Where's Yeti's you? so good at this game. I didn't know there was a rare candy there. Yeti knew, though. I didn't either. A PP up, too. That's going to be useful. Uh, that's going to increase the maximum PP of a move. Uh, and I believe we're using that on Horn Drill. Would make sense. But that's going to save us a whole lot of trouble uh, with not being able to KO all the Pokemon in a fight because we've run out of moves. <laughs> and our repel wearing off right when we're leaving. Perfect planning. Ice Beam. don't remember what he gives PP up to. So, uh, fun fact. Uh, the combination of Thunderbolt and Ice Beam means that you can do massive damage to any Pokemon, regardless of type. All strat. So, that is a... Th the combination of Thunderbolt and Ice Beam is a combination used in competitive Pokemon to this day. I believe it was Yeti Hype who uh, was the first person to come up with that, actually, so round of, round of cat bags for Yeti Hype. So we're starting a safari now. You have a limited number of steps uh, to go on this safari adventure, and we have a few things to do. We gotta pick up some golden teeth, and we gotta learn surf. So, this is, um, precise maneuvering down to the pixel, uh, to make sure that we can get everything done in one trip. <laughs> yes, this is live. And thanks for stopping by, Sweepy. Of all the chatters, you're my favorite. <laughs> Did you know that we're the first person ever to reach this secret house? <laughs> I have a confession to make about this game, actually. I did not know you could ride the bicycle in the safari zone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. So we're gonna throw away these Pokeballs, because we have all the Pokemon we'll ever need ever. And that's gonna make room uh, for the HMO3, which is Surf. So now we're gonna dig with that Paris. Go back to the Pokemon Center in the next town over. And we're gonna go do something plot relevant. Maybe fight a gym leader? Maybe go for a swim now that we have Surf? We're gonna give this guy a drink. We picked up some tea earlier? Tea? Yes. And that gives us access to this town. Which is where... The Rocket Team is. Rocket bases. Yeah. They pretty much took over this entire tower. Yeah. And they're holding the guy that's uh the runner over the hostage. And we're gonna because, beat him. we're gonna beat up these bullies and save you know, the day. Children, children's games. Remember, don't bully, or a ten year old with a Nido King will come beat you up. So this is the largest uh, air indoor area in the game. It has, I think, 900 floors. And <laughs> each floor uh, composed of 10,000 tiles. I think so. <laughs> uh, this macho can suck sometimes. But uh, I think it's still going to get thrashed. No matter how much it Hassan chops us. <laughs> Uh, we will defeat it. Look at that. 
<laughs> already level 35. That guy is stunned by how good a Pokemon we are. So Carbos is a vitamin. A vitamin will increase the EVs of a Pokemon, which you gain for uh, defeating enemies. I don't think we're using that, I think we're just gonna sell it to buy more X accuracies. Yeah, it was horn yeah, drill. I'm so horn good. Drill. Oh! I'm stupid. We are using the Carbos. We gotta go. Carbos makes you go fast. So, of course, we're gonna use it. Our speed has increased. It is time to go fast. What a good run. What a good run. And Earthquake. We now have our final moveset. We have three of the most powerful moves in competitive Pokemon, and one move, Horn Drill, that is so good that it's banned. <laughs> Totally fair. Did you know that Arbuck spelled backwards is Cobra? But it's misspelled, but yes. Uh, Co Cobra is spelled with a K. Uh, Pokemon won't lie to us. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. No, everything okay. in Pokemon is 100% accurate. And I've been pointing out the 100% accuracies all throughout. Alright, I believe you. So this is a fun little puzzle. You get the card key, and uh, step on the teleporter, because you need to go out to that area, but it's like, hey, you're on the- you just teleported because you stepped on the teleporter, what are you gonna do? But then you just step back on the teleporter, because we're too smart for this game, and then we can just continue on our way. And I'm pretty sure that strat saves, like, five minutes? Maybe, like, four minutes? 40 seconds, something like that. Oh, and now it's time to it. defeat our rival. Time to defeat John Cena. He has so, leveled his Pidgeotto into an incredibly ugly bird. So we're gonna give us some sweet speed boost. This Pidgeot's got nothing on us, so we can just set up whatever we want. And we're we are we have used an X accuracy, so our horn drills always hit, and we used an X speed, so we'll always go first. XP doesn't guarantee that you'll go first, but we're so fast anyway that the extra uh, times uh, 1.5 speed is gonna get us in there. So despite the fact that our opponent has literally dragons and two spoons. Two spoons. How do you get a trade Pokemon? That's a good question. He just gave it another spoon. Oh. But we're just able to dumpster every single one of his Pokemon. Because we're all bad. Because we're bad and we're the best. Our rival is a bully. And bullies get bullied. So we just defeated John Cena, and this guy here thinks he can take us? Get out of my house. Just keep on bone bone. Free Lapras? Pfft. We don't need no Lapras. 
We're too fast for giant s s sea snails. Lapras is a pretty cute Pokemon. That's a Marowak. As I said before, uh, Cubone is wearing the skull of its dead mother. After growing up with no uh, strong uh, female role model in its life, uh, Cubones become angsty teenagers and uh, evolve into Marowak, which is exactly like Hugo, Cubone, just angry. All right, and now is our first fight with Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. He has a neat arena, but uh, he he apparently just couldn't find a Moonstone. So ground is super effective against poison. So uh, his Nidorino is gonna drop. Uh, Horn Drill is super effective against everything. So his Kangaskhan is gonna drop. Just wiping. Jesus. This game is too easy. Uh, ice too is super easy. effective against ground. So and his Rhyhorn is gonna drop. <laughs> And the Nido Queen is getting the horn. Rip. Just rip. Giovanni. Too That's easy. the leader of Team Rocket. That's the leader, and we wiped him like a fucking grunt. I think, by law, we're now the leader of Team Rocket. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Once again, digging back to that Pokemon Center. Saving literal minutes. And now, we just beat the... No, 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 no free Master Ball. We're going fat. We don't need a Master Ball. We need to go fast. We have all the Pokemon we'll ever need. I mean, look at this Nido King. If you had this Neo King, would you want another Pokemon? I don't think so. We just defeated the, like, all of Team Rocket, and we're just straight into the gym leader. No need to heal. This gym has the gimmick of invisible walls. It's the, uh... Poison gym? And it's full of ninjas. I think it's so I don't know if you know this, but Poison-type Pokemon are all ninjas. And ninjas love invisible walls. Ed. Yes. I believe it's Psychic. No, Psychic's the one with the teleports. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. But that was this town though. Oh uh, no, this is the gym, so yeah. But uh, that guy, Jugglers have Psychic-type Pokemon. I don't even know this, but if you ever see someone juggling, they're a ninja. You're not wrong. No, the walls are invisible, trust me. They cannot be seen. Just like John Cena. Yeti has spent months in the mountains studying the layout of this gym. Memorizing it, learning the optimal route. He's not just following the dots on the ground, because there are no dots on the ground. The walls are invisible. Here's Koga, the Kingpin Ninja, and once again, if we defeat him, I think we become leader of Team Rocket and every ninja in the world. I think so. By the way, coughing, spelled backwards, is asthma. Bet you didn't know that. What's muck backwards? I think it's muck, it's a palindrome. Yep, 
Yeah, muck spelled backwards is muck. It's a palindrome, which is cute. I like palindromes. And wheezing spelled backwards is emphysema. <laughs> So, uh, Weezing scored a critical hit on his self-destruct, so that's gonna take out Desu. However, we have a Paris. And because we have a Paris, we have more Pokémon, and Koga's out. So... Uh, we won the battle. So remember, Intentionally killing your own Pokémon is not a way to win the battle. So those gold teeth that we picked up in the Safari Zone, we're gonna trade that in to this guy and he's gonna learn us to be strong. Like the wolf. Like the bear. Like the... Every animal that's strong. What's the strongest animal? Is it bears? Maybe Hippos. elephants? Hippos. Hippos? Autonomuses are very strong. Mm. So what I'm hearing is llamas. Llamas are the strongest animal. So with strength, uh, our Squirtle is going to become strong like the llama. And it's going to be able to push heavy boulders and solve annoying puzzles. <laughs> Strongest animal is Putin from the chat, actually. Yeah, it's llamas. So, uh, right now we're gonna jam some candy into the mouth of our unconscious Nido King. Uh, to get it some level ups. And then we're gonna wake it up. Best way to wake up. Getting things just jammed and, uh, in your mouth. Now it's time to go for a swim on the back of our turtle. Oh, we have reports from Google that the strongest animal is the blue whale, uh, which is my understanding is just also the largest animal. So go figure. Uh, so there's some education from High I Kawaii. To swim past the swimmers because they're fucking annoying. Yeah, they got nothing on us. So here we're heading into a building whose name I forgot, but there's statues of Mewtwo in here, and Mewtwo is pretty great, and we're gonna do some things. Lab. And we're gonna press some switches, who wouldn't? And then we're gonna jump off a cliff. And we're gonna just breeze past everyone here, grab some more Carbos for some more going fast. Need that repel, otherwise there's a lot of Pokemon here that are uh, mm -hmm. genetic experiments. That was actually a frame perfect repel use. He took three steps uh, after the repel wore off, uh, laughing in the face of chance. <laughs> than taking the repel at the last possible moment before a battle would happen. And more canny to shove into our Nido King. Have we made a um, Meowth bag yet? I can confirm the elf bag is on the way. We've taken a break to make breakfast in the uh, High Aquai Marathon uh, Operations Center. 
Okay. okay. So we just accomplished something. I don't remember what, but it was really important and super fast. So good job, Yeti. Round of cat bags for Yeti for going fast. <laughs> now it's time for the grass gym, which is full of pretty ladies, and which is why that old man was out front. See, he was uh, peeping on the pretty ladies. This girl, so nice. P I'm pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon. If you want, if you want, is that pretty a boy or a girl that you want to meet? You just don't know what to say. Just introduce yourself and just start talking. If you're interested in something, they'll be interested in it too. Just always be yourself and be confident, cause you're great and people will love you. Execute got executed, pretty much. Yeah. All right, now it's time for Erica. Uh, grass, by the way, weak to ice. Blows fire. We don't have fire. We're too cold for fire. Yes. So, as you can see, uh, this game is super hard, gym leaders are super hard, and uh, we're able to just roll through Erica no problem at all, because we are super good at Pokemon. King knows what's up. Now we're gonna fly on our pigeon back to Cinnabar Island, and I believe it's time to beat up the fire gym? We better have burn heals. <laughs> okay, so this gym has a special little gimmick where instead of fighting a trainer, you can instead solve some pokey trivia. Uh, as established before, Yeti, master of Pokemon, he'll ace all these questions, no problem. A donation! Oh, you want me to read it? I have another five dollars from, uh, GK, who says, GKJZHGFFJH is an acronym for God King Zack Xander's Hero of Gondor, Fearless Fighter of the Jerkish Ham. Loving the run. Thanks! And thank you so much, God King Jack Xander's Hero of Gondor and Fearless Fighter of the Jerkish Ham. I pr we appreciate your support. So, uh, once again, uh, an army of ninjas tried to stop the marathon. And... They attacked Yeti, but his microphone heroically took a bullet for him. Actually, Ninja Star. And Yeti was able to defeat the ninja attackers. And so his run can continue, but without a microphone. But so I am giving commentary for him. So follow Yeti hype. He is a Pokey Master. And I'm pro gaming with Ed. Uh, and I'm Matt. Mm -hmm. I'm the, uh, the leader of Team Hi I Kawai, organizer of this lovely marathon. Also, shoutouts to uh, Torco, or twitch.tv slash xtorcox, for getting our fantastic server set up. By the way, uh, Fire's leaked to ground, and we know Earthquake, so 
that also there's a uh, mechanic called same type attack bonus or stab uh, which means that a move will do an extra 50% damage if it is of your type and Nino King is a poison ground type so we're doing 250% damage to each of these Pokemon just just wiping pretty much so even the legendary Pokemon Arcanine who is a higher <laughs> level than us cannot handle uh, the power. He has been decimated. I feel like that was intentional. Also, shoutouts to uh, twitch.tv slash purry underscore purry, uh, master of Shinmu and duck racing for saving the marathon. And shoutouts to Matt for restreaming a run and letting me sleep. Yes. What punch punch you are? Uh, he is twitch.tv slash Matt underscore TT. <laughs> Good try. Alright, I think this is a psychic gym now, I believe. Uh, this is a psychic we're, gym. We're teleporting. Uh, it has a bunch of teleporters that teleport you to a different room. Uh, I'm pretty sure the sequence is completely random, but Yeti, being a Pokemon god, nailed it first try. Uh, cat bags for- r r raise some cat bags for Yeti. So, lots of spoons. Yep. Uh, got nothing on us. Lots of wipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kadabra, strong Pokemon offensively, weak defensively. Uh, they have these Pokemon have very high special stats. Pretty low defense though. Uh, Butterfree is a bug, poison type, poison weak to ground. Uh, Pokemon oh, abilities don't come until Generation Three. So let so they can't fly yet. So they're still weak to ground. And no matter how many spoons Sabrina's Pokemon have, nothing is going to be enough to stop the Desu train. There's an interesting theory regarding Venomoth and Butterfree being switched sprites for the uh, evolutions for some reason. I don't know the exact theory, but they basically look similar. Mm. They're probably just cousins. Probably. So, I'm an expert on Pokemon and on romance, not counting. But I'm pretty sure we have seven gym badges now. And so we're ready for the eighth. Which is the ground gym. It's a maze with a bunch of sneaky... Ah, I don't remember what they're called. It's like pushy platform thing. You step on them and they just send you flying. I just call them launch pads. Launch pads? That seems pretty good. But uh, as established earlier, round, weak to ice. So, these nerds got nothing on us. so swole that none of these Pokemons are going to stand a chance of. It's actually a cute little sequence break in this gym. Uh, we were wa trying to walk into a, a narrow hallway to get to the gym leader, but the Pokemon trainer s stopped us and came and blocked the way. Yeah, he just used a different move. Okay, good job. Okay. We've uh, run out of earthquakes because yeah. we're... Uh, too strong. Oh, we don't need any more earthquakes. We're uh, good to go. 
So, cute little sequence break is that guy blocked the path. We're just going to leave the gym and come back. And he's going to be back against the back wall so we can pass by. And he won't battle us again because he, he knows what happens when you try to tussle with us. So, turns out the gym leader of the 8th gym is Giovanni. And he wants to take Team Rocket back from us. I, I did dead. forget the donation total. But, uh, Giovanni, you're dead. Giovanni's not your dad, right? No. Giovanni is not your dad. Unless he is. Either way, we know Ice Beam. And he has a bunch of silly ground types. So, we are too powerful for him to take Team Rocket back from us. See, he has a Nino King too, but his Nino King is slower than ours. So, uh, when we're just gonna... Out. Give him that one hit KO. And even the Don himself cannot handle. It's just unfair, dude. It's just unfair. You kind of feel bad for him. So that's eight. And... Eight gym badges means that we're ready to fight the Elite Four. So, get hyped for the final showdown. Next, we have uh, Teaser Zero, who's going to be doing a speedrun of You Are Empty. Yep. Uh, Matt, would you mind getting him set up for that? Sure. So, get hyped for that game. And then after You Are Empty is Icy Kitten's block, where uh, we've been saving our best memes and meme games to give it to you all at once. Yeah. In Generation 1, X accuracy will mean that your move will always hit. So despite Orange Roll's 30% accuracy, it becomes 100. So that was our final showdown against our rival. Pidgeot, once again, has gotten us on us. We can just go ahead and set up on it. And fun, I mentioned before that Desu's typing was going to come up again. Psychic is super effective against poison, and Desu's a poison ground type, and agility is a psychic type move. So, John Cena's silly person AI is going to have him keep using agility because he thinks it's super effective, when it turns out all he's doing is just going fast and accomplishing nothing. Unlike us, where we're going fast and bodying him. So now, we've had all this time to set up so we can just tear through his team. No problemo. By the way, Gyarados, a water flying type. So we're doing four times 